is born young reading series one stories of cowboys chapter one the rotten rustler it was spring at the silver spur cattle ranch johnny spur was helping with the roundup john and his pa rode to the green fields they rounded up the cattle yee led him down the hillside get along there and into a coral there were eight calves johnny's pa branded each one with a little picture of a spur easy there clementine now folks will know they belong to us said johnny's pa the next morning johnny went to feed the cattle he soon saw something was wrong five six seven quick pa yelled johnny clementine is missing where the heck is she asked mr spur look a line of fresh hoof prints led out of the coral johnny and his pa followed the trail across the prairie to hank horseshoes ranch did you steal my calf hank shouted johnny's pa who me said hank i ain't no rustler there's clementine cried johnny rushing up to a calf she's mine shouted hank pointing to his mark that's the horseshoe ranch symbol now get off my land roared hank or i'll set my dogs on you johnny was sure hank was a thief that night he hid by the coral and waited ha ha another easy steal it wasn't long before hank tiptoed up and took a calf johnny followed the sneaky rustler back to his ranch hank pulled the calf into a barn johnny could clearly see the spur mark on the calf moments later hank and the calf came out but now the calf had a horseshoe mark but how johnny crept into the barn he noticed some cans of paint on top of a barrel hmm so that's what hank did hank had fooled them now johnny had to prove it the next day johnny visited hank's ranch he took his pa and their friend chief running water what do you critters want now yelled hank we've come for our cattle said johnny firmly well they ain't here growled hank so clear out not until the chief has done his rain dance smiled johnny chief running water began to dance it was a special dance to ask the sky spirits for rain ha huh, snapped hank i don't believe that hogwash there was an angry rumble of thunder and rain pelted down thank you chief the calves in hank's coral were soaked the rain water washed away hank's mark and showed the spurs symbol hank tricked us explained johnny he painted his mark over ours darn it the stolen calves were soon back where they belonged and the local sheriff put hank where he belonged too behind bars chapter two rodeo runaway pat star was taking part in the cactus valley rodeo cowboys had to ride a bull go pat then throw a rope around a calf yee-haw and wrestle a steer whoa there pat and tex trapper were the best after three events the final round was bronco riding the cowboys had to ride a wild horse for eight seconds it wasn't easy whoa old ben crickwood only stayed on for two seconds joe lariat hung on for five wah but tex managed six 
Pat was the last to go. I gotta make sure Pat doesn't beat me, thought Tex. No one was looking, so Tex took an oil lamp and poured slippery oil on the Bronco's reins. Let's see how long Pat lasts now, thought Tex. Pat climbed into the Bronco's saddle. The gate opened and the horse shot out. Yee-haw! Poor Pat never stood a chance. The Bronco bucked. Yikes! The rain slipped out of Pat's hand. He went flying through the air. Wah! And hit the ground with a thud. Ouch! The judges helped Pat to his feet. I think my ankle is twisted. He sighed. Ha ha! Who's the best cowboy now? Boasted Tex. With a whoop of delight, he fired his gun in the air. Bang! The sudden noise startled Ned the pony. He was pulling a wagon full of school children. Nay! Wah! The terrified Ned galloped out of the showground and into the desert. Somebody save them! wailed the school teacher. Don't look at me, Tex muttered quietly. Pat started limping to his horse, his ankle throbbing. Don't worry, ma'am, he cried. I'll bring him back. Pat raced out into the dusty desert. He rode as fast as he could until he saw the wagon. Help! Pat gasped in shock. The wagon was heading to the edge of a deep valley. There was only one thing to do. Pat rode alongside the wagon and jumped onto the runaway horse. There were just seconds to spare. Pat tugged hard on Ned's reins. Whoa there! He yelled. We're saved! cried the children. What a hero! The rodeo judges agreed and made Pat Star the king of the radio. Hooray! Rats! Chapter 3 Wanted Chuck Parker wanted to be a cowboy on a ranch. Every day, he worked with his lasso. His pa, the sheriff, wouldn't let Chuck lasso cows. So Chuck had to make do with chairs barrels, fences, and even Dusty, his dog. Yelp! Sheriff Parker didn't want his son to catch cows. He wanted him to catch crooks. Stop wasting your time with that rope, he moaned one day. Take a look at this. Sheriff Parker pinned a poster to the jailhouse wall. Wanted, dead or alive. Big Bad Bart, Cattle Rustler, Bank Robber, and All-Round Sneaky Critter, Reward $500. Keep a lookout for this varmint, warned Chuck Spa. He's wanted all over Texas. Chuck didn't think Bad Bart would ever visit their sleepy town, but he was wrong. The very next day, a stagecoach pulled into town. The driver ran into the jailhouse and grabbed Chuck's pa. I've just been robbed, Sheriff, panted the driver. He got away with six bags of gold coins. What did the robber look like? asked Sheriff Parker. The driver turned to the poster. That's him! Chuck gasped. Bad Bart was on the loose nearby. He headed for Snake Creek, said the driver. I'll get your gold back, said Chuck Spa. He climbed onto his horse and rode off. Chuck waited for his pa to return. He waited all morning, all afternoon, and all night. The next day, Chuck was too worried to wait any longer. He rode to Snake Creek as fast as he could. I just hope Pa is okay. 
Snake Creek was a spooky, lonely place. Chuck looked behind every rock and cactus. There was no sign of his pa. Chuck had almost given up when he smelled smoke. The smell led him to a small campfire. His pa sat nearby, all tied up. Chuck ran to him. Keep back, son! What have we here? growled a scary voice. Chuck turned to see Bad Bart towering over him. Okay, Bart, said Chuck nervously. Let my pa go and hand back the gold. Bart roared with laughter. Ha ha! Or what? He chuckled. Your pa couldn't stop me, and neither will you. Time for me to leave camp. Bart shouted, shoving bulging bags of gold into his saddle bag. Bart rode off. Chuck had to work quickly. He untied his paw and made a loop in the rope. Chuck swung the lasso and threw it over Bart. With a sharp tug from Chuck, Bart came flying off his horse. Wah! Bart ended up in jail, and Chuck decided that catching crooks was even more exciting than catching cows, especially after his pa made him deputy sheriff.